This video you're about to watch is the proper way of removal of asbestos pipe insulation via a glove bag method. Setup of this project is the most important part. We have a critical barrier at the top of the stairs of the basement. This is a negative air machine exhausting air from inside the containment to the outdoors, creating a negative pressure. These are the glove bags that are being hung with the water in the bag, making sure that the asbestos is kept adequately wet. This is the exhaust coming from the negative air leading outside. Workers are getting ready to uh, don on their respirators. And this is a personal air monitor that's going to be monitoring each employee. There should be danger signs posted, danger tape uh, at the access uh, entranceway. There's a first aid kit, um, material safety data sheets should be on site at all times. There's uh, permits, necessary paperwork, sign in, logs, all kinds of state documentation that should be necessary for this project. This is the air monitoring being done on a contiguous basis. This is the uh, entrance way to the basement that's sealed off. And here's one of our negative air machines uh, with a HEPA vacuum uh, close by. And this is the air monitoring that's being done inside the containment. This process, a worker is beginning to remove asbestos from the pipe down into the wetted glove bag area. We have both a negative pressure containment and a glove bag procedure on this project. It is very, very safe this way, ensures that the worker is safe and the homeowner is safe. The asbestos is being peeled off and uh, dropped into the bag uh, right next to a negative air machine. This is a close-up picture of one of the workers removing the uh, asbestos off the pipe and dropping it into the bottom of the glove bag. Notice that the glove bag is all sealed up completely at the top. These are continuous running glove bags. They are separated at the bottom, but they're attached uh, all at the top continuously. As uh, the worker will pull the arms out and he will wrap the glove bag around and twist it and tie it. Later on that will be placed into a certified danger a marked asbestos bag all while the asbestos is continually being wetted. This is the asbestos that's already removed off the pipes and this is how a, a elbow or a joint gets detailed. Notice that the tool is carefully being used to lift the asbestos off that pipe and then the detailed cleaning is being done with brushes, tools, uh, scrubbies, any kind of abrasive material to get most of the visual asbestos off the pipes. This is a little bit of close-up of what it looks like. This is the shower decontamination chamber that's in the bottom of the uh, basement. These wetted bags are tied up, gooseneck tied, and then they are wetted on the outside and placed into a second bag. This worker is gathering them second bags. Uh, he's wearing street clothes because he's on the clean side of the containment. And these bags, once they're in the second bag, will be ready for the bag out procedure and they are prepped and ready and they will be shortly labeled uh, as asbestos containing materials. This is uh, the bags in the shower continually getting wet. We have danger signs and then there's one of the workers that is on the dirty side rinsing off the bags and they're going to be handed off to get double bagged. Next there will be a danger label being placed on the asbestos bag. This contains the generator's name, address, so that when it goes to the landfill it will be uh, recorded from this job site. These bags are placed into the truck, later to be taken to the landfill for proper documentation. These are the clean pipes with a high temp encapsulant being applied to them. This locks down any microscopic fibers that may be uh, remaining on the joints or the elbows or the T's. After this uh, process is completed, the final air testing is completed by an independent air monitoring company. The containment is tore down, everything is cleaned up and final detailed, and then all the proper documentation will be given to the homeowner.